Good Friday morning, everybody. Weekend day. Okay. What I'm doing now is I'm about to go and see how you stop the car is. Oh, it's freezing. Hopefully I won't slip. Yeah, it's very icy. Don't know if you can see me. From the light of the stars. Actually, it's not too bad. Oh, it wasn't too bad actually. It's a little bit of ice on the window. We'll shut that off. Friday, 6.29 and it's minus five. See what see if that agrees. Okay, it says minus three. Watch says minus five. I'll take the minus three. Good morning. Weekend starts after the working day. Morning. Morning. Have you got out of bed dressed with winter clothes? It's freezing out there. Minus three. Coffee. Coffee. Oui. And Michelle is getting ready to go up the Himalayas. It's a hat and a scarf, hat and gloves. And jumper. And t-shirt and t-shirt. It's layers. Is your heating still broken? Mm. I think heating's still broken at work. Let's get out there and start the working day because I'm all enthused to finish it. Here we go. That was close, I nearly forgot you guys. I had to come back for you. Go to work, take two. So you're miserable now. Why? You don't work. Come it's Friday. Weekend day. A few hours work and home. Or maybe pub. Eh? Maybe, yeah. Home or pub, depending on circumstances. Okay, doke. Okay. Now, after what you said to me yesterday, I ain't gonna tell you go out and graft. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I'm gonna say, you go out and earn a crust. Oh, coffee. Look at that, make coffee. You're awesome. Moving on. Okay, guys, that's me. Ooh, big bands on the cap. Okay, guys, that's me at my work. For the start of the Friday working day. It's getting full. The reason this car park's getting full is because they're closing down a lot of facilities and moving everybody into it, basically consolidating facilities. And unless you get here early now, there ain't no parking. Hi guys. That's been such a cruddy day. I'm going to pub. Okay guys, and that's me at the pub where I'm about to meet Michelle. Well, it's in the pub we're at the brewery. At the brew dog. They can go dog tap and brewery to us or visit us. Looks like they're doing some building work, looks like they're extended. So well, let's get in and meet Michelle, see what she's up to. Michelle walked down from work a little earlier. Thought we should be meeting her though. But I'll speak to you shortly. Okay, so here we are at the pub. Michelle having a pint. And me having my soft blue badges. Because that's the way we go. So how's your day been? I've had a rubbish man. We're not going to do much this weekend, but we're in the Christmas tree. So just wait for Garrett to turn up and I'm going to get, have a few beers and unwind. And look, he's turned up. <laughs> you need a shave. 
drink. I want to just go. I'm going to get you one. So what are we on now? So here, as the name implies, is live dead pornicle. Live dead pornicle. Live. So instead of I can't see it. Instead of dead pornicle, it's live dead pornicle. Shall we ask the sober one? Did you? Does that make sense? It it's not the drink. It does Bruno make sense? No. And there we go, you see, that's the uh, philosophy of Bruno. So, you've got something that's like Dead Pony, but it's like... I wonder where the name Dead Pony, you can ask uh, Douglas where they get the names from. They must mean something. Yeah, I mean, they must have... I don't know, they've been announced somewhere. Oh look, Dead Pony there. Yeah. They just stole. So, what's this new we've discovered? We've discovered that uh, you can call Brew Dog for a delivery room, but only in certain places. But I sus suspect from this that they uh, deliver from here. So, you've got a good chance of getting some. Well, you know, when you go home, you think. Is that on the website? Uh, Rude dog, call the dog delivery. I hope so, because um, you're going to try it. It's if it won. <laughs> yeah. So, what are we on now? Jet Black Heart. Jet Black Heart, which some people think it's a bit of coffee tasting, and some people think it's a bit of uh, caramel type thing. I just started drinking, I can't make my mind up. Uh, I, <laughs> I think it's a combination of the both. Combination, which I think is uh, classic, very good. Well, one thing I would advise we've just had whatever we've just had, which I can't remember. Yep, like that. Before no, the one that. before that, live dead pony club. Neither can get it. <laughs> the live dead pony club, because that's a really fruity flavour, you need to clear your palate before you drink this. So you've got to get that halfway before you really know what it tastes like. Well, we do, we do recommend having a water biscuit in between if you're changing. From one thing to another. Probably not having a bloody beer, I'm going to have a toilet, have a water biscuit. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's good. If you like stout, it's not like Guinness, it looks like Guinness, it's not like Guinness, it's really nice. Good thing, Guinness is not nice. <laughs> Neil, drink Worthy it, man. Obviously. Happy to Ireland. Guinness is nice, by the way. But this is a different version, so. Yeah. It's good, it's good. But well, we said that after three bites anyway. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, you know. <laughs> um, to be true, if it's say after the first. Yeah, if it has alcohol, it right? wasn't a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> That's that whiskey. If it's yeah, an Irish coffee, that would be all right, yeah. Or a uh, Scotch coffee, or but I think any they, alcohol coffee. Well, it's, it's, I think they do a version of this with in a whiskey cask, which has a flavour, which is quite nice. I bet that's nice, but it's a bottle, that's it, it's an expensive. Yeah. Although, I think in the early days, we have it on draft, but not seen it since. That's a good thing about the brew dog, they actually changed the beer over a lot. Yeah, so every time we've been here, there's always been something new to try on the menu, and we do. Yeah, and we also make sure the old ones haven't got on. Well, you know, you know the flavour could change, yeah. you know. You don't want people going and having a bad experience, so... And here comes Michelle. Here comes Michelle. Where have you been? Pilot. What? How was it? <laughs> was it good for you? <laughs> no, the act did not move. <laughs> so 
Oh, just the wing then. <laughs> Jet Blacker, get on it, you get sarcastic, gives Michelle something to... I'll be looking at this video tomorrow and I went, I didn't do that. Are you looking at it? Oh yeah, moving on. As I'm sitting here, Michelle, Michelle's outside FaceTiming here. But while I'm sitting here, I'm looking up and I'm seeing a little bit of a, a neon thing where it says, without us, we are nothing. And it doesn't make sense, that. Without Bruno, we are nothing. No, we've without just been us. Here yeah, fair enough. Without Bruno, we are nothing but saying without us. We are not. It's like saying, yeah, you know what I mean? I, without me, I'm nothing. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, that's why I've been in. My mind's been ticking over for five minutes, but without us, we are nothing. I'm going to say that to work. But it would say, without me, no. <laughs> um, okay, so it looks like we've got a slushy. A sh slushy dog. Which is easier to say when you've not had a few pints. I thought you said it pretty well. <laughs> so uh, I was seeing this and thinking, hmm, I wonder what that tastes like. A raspberry type of slushy. You no, know, do you get different flavors? I don't have one. Let me know answer. Let me know answer. Yes, That's like sugar and kind of raspberry and... Oh, I love that. I'll need to drink more. Hang on. It's a bit tart. No, it's not that. Is there alcohol in that? There yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> driving. Flavour we're looking for, not the driving bit. Oh, it's raspberry. Definitely raspberry. Very sharp. I think it's very nice. I think I need to chase some more to find out. It's the thing about brew dog, you just have a drink of an unusual flavour. <laughs> it's a bit of a nasty sort of shot. I'm going to take some more just to see if it's actually what I'm actually feeling. Yeah, it washes over the power, then it gets you. Oh! I think the contrast, that. <laughs> the contrast between what I've been drinking and that is quite some phenomenal. Phenomenal. So, what else have we got? Well, I nearly got the. Uh, the I nearly got. I'm trying to have a look at the board now. So I thought, oh, we'll have the uh, Hella Hells. Hellas. But it was a, a sweet and lager, I thought. Um, no. So, 5 a.m. red, it is. So you're not beginning again. Yeah, you can't go wrong with uh, 5 a.m. I think you better drink a little bit more weed better drink this one. <laughs> uh, now the taste buds are acclimatised to the drink. <laughs> drink it off the top. Oh. Gotta watch out with the brain freeze. Oh, you know how it goes down so slowly. <laughs> you got something warm. <laughs> What's the story? It's so I went did to me. And then drink up and say, oh, okay. <laughs> it looked like a good idea. <laughs> I can highly recommend that for brain damage. <laughs> So we have got here 
I've got to guess it be, eh? <laughs> You're going to make me leave that in. Michelle went to the bar and chose... Flat pack fruit bat. Flat pack fruit bat. That's easy for you to upset. Have you yeah. seen that fruit dog? So, you were just uh, giving a, a taste of what... what oh, yeah. <laughs> Flat pack fruit bat. Flat pack fruit bat. So here is beer. <laughs> yeah. And it's a bit like this. You can tell on the face. Yeah. But you know, the taste was should be acclimatized to it by Oh, actually it did. It did. It was less. It actually tastes fruity now, right? It tastes. Drink what makes you want to scratch your tongue. Cheers everybody. Okay guys, Gary's at the bar, so I might as well show you the pub. Uh, well you know where we've been sitting. There's um Poster telling you where the bar is, but believe me, it's not that far. It's actually kind of just over there. Now you look, it's a bit of a crowd. Stand up, there's a bit of a crowd at the moment. Yeah, some people are looking at me, seeing why I'm why I'm filming them. Here's the bar. There you go. Okay guys, Gary's at the bar, so I might as well show you the pub. Uh, well, you know where we've been sitting. There's um, a little poster telling you where the bar is. But, believe me, it's not that far. It's actually kind of just over there. And you look, it's a bit of a crowd. Stand up, there's a bit of a crowd at the moment. Yeah, some people are looking at me seeing why I'm, why I'm filming them. Here's the bar. And there you go. So what have we got? It's called Candy Kaiser. Anyway, Candy Kaiser. Probably our last week of the night. Just right back. I've got to admit, if you ever go drinking brew dog, the beer's good. But if you go from beer to beer to beer, they've such distinctive tastes that they hit you or they hit me. So every time I get them, it's all that shot. And then I drink them and I'm happy. Well, to help us out, we've got this. I've not seen this at Brew Dog before. Shenanigans. So it's uh, sliced salami. Snacking out. Which was easy for Obviously came from a small animal. I think uh, that's quite a good idea. Actually, that's nice. If you like pepper man. It's, it's, it's a bit it's a bit like it's a bit like peppered bacon in a bag. Pepperami, it's like a mild pepperami, you know. I like pepperami, you know, little sticks of pepperami. Yeah. Well, we have a, a full pepperami type thing. You get all the slices, so a bit of slices, obviously. And um, 
I don't want to take income. <laughs> I don't know how much it was. It was not for that. It was 15 pounds. It's alright because that big is taxi on as well. Apologies, my battery ran out on. Sorry, I'll turn that out. You can see the line. My battery ran out on uh, the GoPro just when it got exciting. But look, we brought you to see the Christmas tree. Let me turn around so I can see it. We brought you to see the Christmas tree in Ellen. Never mind that drunk. Because that drunk is Gary. Again. Yeah. Okay, so what we're off to now, where are we going? We're going to Marmaris. We're going to have a Marmaris special. What, in, in Greece? Yes. Marmaris so, in Greece, where it's warm. It's not actually... <laughs> yeah, so... It's, it's not also, actually... Yeah. Oh, I can't tell you what temperature is. It's also in with. Turkey, not Greece. They've moved it. <laughs> Move it on. Okay, guys, we've gone to Turkey, apparently. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna get ourselves a. What am I gonna get? We're gonna get a Marmaris special. Yep. Well, we're, we're gonna get a Marmaris special. Just Marmaris. turn. Let's turn you up there and you can kind of see the menu. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I'll just turn you around. Stop putting my fingers in the camera. I do apologise for the weirdness of the camera because I'm drunk. I don't know if he's waving at me or somebody on the lot tent. I'm assuming it's somebody on the lot tent. But yeah, we're going to get ourselves a Marmaris special. Marmaris special, please. Marmaris special. Yeah. Times two. Can you just explain what's on that, please? Sorry? To the camera. Can you just explain <laughs> what's on that? Marmaris special, come on. Yeah. It's a combination of shish lamb, chicken kebab, and dinner kebab. You get separate salads, chilera garlic sauce for this. Awesome, thank you very much. Yeah. It is awesome, it is awesome. Sorry? It is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Moving on.